This part talks about fluids and nutrition. My sense now is that your dad is not hungry. How do you know? He's very lethargic and I don't yes. see any sense that he's agitated or anything like that. I know that he likes German food and so if your dad awakens and we can oh give him God. some nice food, we want to do that. He loves German food. Yeah. My sense is your dad wouldn't want a feeding tube placed. He's not going to be able to taste that. And this is hard news to hear, but it wouldn't help him either. Because this stroke is so bad, and though I wish I could give you hope, I don't have any hope that his swallowing is going to come back. This has really been a massive stroke. And with his heart problems and his breathing problems, he's just too sick to get better in that way. So, so are we going to starve him? No, we want to give him whatever food he can take and whatever fluids he can take. So he can swallow a little. He can swallow a little. This is hard news to hear. Your dad isn't dying of starvation. Your dad's dying because of his heart and his breathing and his stroke. And I think over the last year, this has gradually been starting. Yeah, okay. okay. I was so told to sooner. Similarly, and many times you see in the hospital where people have these IV fluids on board, there's problems. Everything we do in medicine, there are good things and there are bad things. Again, the major problem your dad has is the stroke and the heart and the lungs. Because he's so weak, though many times we want the fluids to do good things, many times the IV fluids do bad things. Because his body's so sick, many times, and sometimes you might see it in your dad already, that when we do the IV fluids, their hands and their legs start to get very puffy. Yeah, his yeah. legs were, yeah, they were sometimes swollen. Yeah. He's all black and blue from all the needles. Yeah. 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 And we want to do whatever we can to help him, but we don't want to make him more uncomfortable. In addition, sometimes those fluids go not only in the hands and the legs, but sometimes they go into the lungs and people have more trouble breathing. Okay. And we don't want to do that if it's not going to help. Okay. 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 So we'll put here, no, we don't want a feeding tube. No, we don't want IV fluids because it's not going to help him at this point. Are you sure he's not hungry? First, we'll trust you. We trust you. Okay. You see what you see what you see and let us know as the staff because we want to offer him whatever he can take. And it's amazing. Sometimes, and I think he's going to get the best care at home, sometimes when we give people little bits of what we call pleasure food, they do amazing. And you, I, I, he's always been able to eat. I mean, so how do we do this? So. Things have changed from this stroke. Okay, he has always been able to eat. My sense is I heard that he's been getting weaker over the last year. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he maybe didn't have the same big appetite he had over the last couple of months. I guess. Yeah, I mean, he still loves, he still loved our food. He did. And yeah. yeah, we can certainly offer him whatever he can eat. We want to do that. I want to caution you. Sometimes we love people so much that we sort of give them lots of food. And sometimes that actually pe makes people more uncomfortable. You'll see. You'll know. I know you have his best wishes at heart. I don't okay. want to make him uncomfortable. Yeah. So yeah. just a little food. Little bits and see how he takes it. Okay. And when you make something, probably make a little bit because he's probably only strong enough just to eat a little bit. And okay. sometimes, especially in people like your dad, whose family is so important to them, sometimes they're eating almost to help take care of you. Because he knows that, yeah, you always loved making his favorite food, I bet. Mm -hmm. <laughs>